Hello, good evening, class. I know that you are a little bit tired, but today is Friday. Hoy es viernesito, right, Susi? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Ya me escucho mejor, vea. Yes, I can hear your voice, your uh, developed voice. Ya tu voz desarrollada, right? Like an adult. Okay. How was your Friday? ¿Cómo estuvo tu viernes? Uh, pues de hecho, uh, I went to uh, well, visit a hospital. Hospital? Because of your, yep. because of your health? Yes. yes. Sí. And you didn't want sí. to go. No quería ir. Mm. La verdad, no. <laughs> so, but at the end, you went. So, that's good. Yes. Brilliant. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. So, uh, was it a flu? Fue una gripe? Or was it COVID or was it cough or what? Pues sabe que fue algo bien curioso porque lo que estuve viendo en lo que en el lapso que de tiempo que pasé ahí de que llegaron muchas personas con la misma vacuna que me pusieron a mí y con síntomas de gripe. Mm. Entonces el, el, hasta el doctor dijo y disculpe la palabra que va a decir pero dijo pu o sea que todos los de la moderna van a estar viniendo por gripe y cosas por el estilo porque si varias personas por lo menos nos preguntaba si ya nos habíamos vacunado y decimos que sí y nos preguntaban esa vacuna y era la moderna no, realmente no, no, no really okay so it's the side effects los efectos secundarios they are too strong maybe and they affected too too much to your health so but I I like to see you well now me gusta verte ya, ya bien, sonriente, con cara de mal día. Ok, good for you to see. Nice. Perfect. We hear how also Andreita. Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. How was your Friday? Fine. Fine, with no problem. No. No, do you work tomorrow, right, Andrea? Yes, all yes. day. All day. Susie as well. All day. Uh, yes. Yeah, you work all day tomorrow, right? No, me dieron incapacidad para. Ah, yes, yes, yeah, no yeah. you're not ready to work. So, uh, like, pushed vacations. Vacaciones, like, uh, obligadas, como presionadas. Sí, no quería. Es que, de hecho, por eso no quería ir al hospital, pero, ni modo, tuve que topar. Ah, mm -hmm. No lo sé, Rick. I don't know, Rick. But good for you that you have, like, uh, Mandatory vacations, but vacaciones obligatorias. So, enjoy them. Ah, disfrútalas. Okay, of course. No, this. Okay, here how also Diego. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Good. Fine. I have been a little bit busy, but okay. A little bit busy. Okay, I can. I hear you like your voice is far, far away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, that's it. Now you hear me. Yes, okay. definitely. I Perfect. told you that I, I have a little bit busy, but okay. No, but you're you're okay, okay. And okay. tell me, um, are you working tomorrow? Yeah. No. Not really. Okay. No. Neither neither Saturday nor Sunday, right? No. Okay, that's perfect. Until, until, until Monday. Monday. Okay. Yeah. So you can enjoy your weekend. That sounds good. Yeah. Yes. Take advantage while you can. I will. Yes, Be because sure sometimes. Yes, okay. I like to hear that. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and here we have also Dorita. Hello, Dorita. You look so serious tonight. Hello. Seria. Good seria. Good Are you angry? Are you mad? No? No. 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 Peace and love. Okay. And hey, Dorita, are you working tomorrow? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yes. All day or half a day? Uh, all day. All day. Okay. So um, let hear how as well, Claudia. Claudita. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? Okay, who you are Claudia Diaz. Are you working tomorrow? Trabaja mañana. No. No, so you have two days vacation. Yes. Mm. Perfect. Take advantage. Aprovechalas, okay? Sí. Claudia, how old are you? How old are you? How old uh, are I, you? I am 30. 32 years old. 
Yeah, you're really young. Okay, it's fine. So take advantage while you can. Okay, perfect. Uh, Claudita Ventura. Hi, teacher. Hi, how Good are evening. you? Good evening. Everything okay? Yes? Uh, more or less. More or less, okay. Mm, are you working tomorrow, right? Yes, all day. You work with Susie, Andrea, right? The yes. Three. And Diana. And Diana and Carla. And Carla, yes, okay. Yes. So you are colleagues. Well, yes. Fine. And are you good friends or so so, more or less? Um, girlfriend. Okay, nice, perfect. And hablando de Diana, she's appearing now. So, uh, Hi. hello, Denita. How are you doing? Good. Hey, I have. How do you say? Well, no, I. Estoy haciendo la tarea. Um, you're procrastinating. Estás haciendo última hora. You look like John Joshua Cuellar. Me parece a mí cuando era joven. Okay. Uh, so you didn't have time enough, right? Okay. No, se sigue pareciendo porque usted nos deja tarde la tarea. Oh, no. Today I send you the information really early, like in the afternoon, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Teacher, pero es que hoy salimos tarde de trabajar. Lo que pasa es que se fueron al after, so. No. I can handle that. No puedo, no. puedo controlar eso. Viernes y sábado salimos tarde. ¿Viernes, chiquito? No, viernes sábado, y sábado. ¿Sábado más chiquito? Salimos tarde de trabajar. Really? Ok, no yes. problem. But you can, you, you can order your ideas right now. Pueden ordenar un par de ideas, ok? Mientras tanto. Alex, good evening, my friend. Okay, I think uh, he's going to be ready in a moment. So, meanwhile, we're waiting for the others. We're going to start with uh, the topic is how to use imperatives. The imperatives are like commands. Son como órdenes. Los imperativos son verbos. Uh, utilizados, they are used in the, in the base form to give orders, instructions, or commands. Y es algo que normalmente te pasa, especially at work. Our boss or our bosses, they give us imperatives. You can say, order the product, check the email, send the inform, or send uh, a report. Mm, check the inventory and, and you can what well, they can they can ask for evaluations pueden eh, pedir muchas cosas los jefes normalmente eso es lo que sucede con los imperatives okay so we're going to study them in a while by now uh, the question is what is the last book you read could you remember the last book you read nowadays it is not so common reading right but at least um, we have read three or four books, I guess. When I, was, uh, when I was young, I used to read a lot. Nowadays, it's kind of difficult because I don't have too much time. Well, yes, actually, I have time. But I prefer to do different things. So let's listen to Andreita. Maybe you remember one book that you read? Yes. Uh... Se llama it The is. Shack. It is The Shack. La cabaña, Shack. No, shack. no sé cómo se escribe. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Okay. Cabin. You can say Cabin. Eh, eh, from Uncle Tom. Del tío Tom. Or what? No, de Paul John. Mm -hmm. Paul John. Ay, John. solo porque no lo tengo cerca. Really? Okay. It, it, you can say Cabin. You can say Hot. You can say hovel, but maybe I'm going to find that word. Ya voy a buscar esa palabra, okay? So, um, uh, how long time ago? Hace cuánto? Last year, two years ago, uh, five mm, years ago. Three months. Three months ago, good. Did you like it? Three. It is a good one. Yes. You recommend it. Okay. 
That's See, fine. yes. Okay, it is a, a history book, a romantic comedy, mystery, horror, drama. Mm, no sé cómo se dice, pero es como de es como autosuperación, es, eh, involucra mucho a Dios. Ah, a really? Cosas. Similar. Uh -huh. oh, okay, yes, I, I can understand. I, I can figure that out. Okay, yes. It's like it works with self esteem, with motivation, right? All those topics, I guess. Okay, good, Andreita. Nice. And what about Dorita? Do you remember the last book you read? No. Not even no. a lot of years ago, aunque sea muchos años, muchos, or the Bible, the Bible. Eh, Lazarillo de Tormes. Ah, that's a good one. That's like anti-hero book. It's a libro de anti similar to, what's, what's similar to that, okay? Oh, similar to Oliver, Oliver Twist. Okay, thank you. When you were a high school at the school, because I read that, I read La Sarillo Tormes when I was at seven. At seven. Yes. Okay, fine. And what about Diego? Do you remember the last book, Diego? Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. And the last book that I, I tried to read mm -hmm. was Papillon. Mm -hmm. I, uh, that is about some guy that was get, getting in jail. Uh -huh, oh, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. And there really was not the, the guilty for an, a crime. For the crime, he was, um, he was punished. And she escaped from, from the prison and, and and he read the, the, the book, but I tried to read, it, but but I can't. <laughs> the last the last book that that I complete read was Foxes of Harrow from Frank Jerby. Mm, wow, what is it about? It it, it sounds like very interesting. Like yes, it's mm -hmm. very interesting. It's from a guy, an Irish guy, the and. He arrives to to United New States, Jersey, you know, your lands, uh -huh. and it's, it's very interesting because uh, that talks about the the customs from New Orleans and in the I can remember what time, but okay. How long time ago did you read that? Did you read that? Like a couple of years? Mm -hmm. No, a few months ago. Mm -hmm. it, it was like very recent. What's the score you give to that book? Nine from one to 10? 10. 10, you really love that book. Yes. Oh. I really love that. Okay, so yes, you recommend the narrative it. narrative is wonderful. Wonderful, so it gives you like, a, well, it uh, provides enough details to have a, a like a, a zine or scenario or environment. That's, that's something that I really love from books that you can imagine a lot of things. Right. Exactly. So this is the best of, of, of and, and that, that that's a kind of problem when you read a book that you really love and then uh, there, 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 there is a movie about it. So you compare and you say, hmm, the book is better because that because it's standard version. It's not the same. Yeah, obviously it's and not the same. Always, <laughs> always, always keep on, I don't know how to say keep on a they take, they take off a lot of uh, important facts. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, one. We have three books now. What about Susie Q? Okay, Susie. Hmm. Was uh, a novela. Uh, se llama um, Mal de Amores. Hmm. Okay. Five months ago. Five months ago. Estamos mal, pues, Susie. You were really sad. Sí, I had a moment of depression. Okay, okay. Thank you for the information. Okay, what's the score you give to that novel? What's the score? From 1 to, to, to 10? Sorry? El, el puntaje que le das. From 1 to 10? Mm, 9. 9, okay. Good one. So you were heartbroken. Estaba un poquito malita. Okay, yes. Well. Uh, I'm really happy that you're better now. Andreita, what the score you get to the book that you read from one to 10? 10. 
10. Ok, you really love. Score es el puntaje. And uh, that word can be applied for a game, for a match, or for whatever you want. Pueden eh, darle un puntaje. Ok, Dorita, what about la serie de torments? From 1 to 10, you remember? How much did you like? ¿Qué tanto te gustó? Six, seven. Eh, todos. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, from one to ten. What's the score? ¿Cuál es el puntaje que le das? Ocho. Okay, eight. Mm -hmm. eight. Okay, that, that, that. Oh, it's acceptable. Uh, what about Claudia? What's the last book you read? Romantic book. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the name? Uh, Bodas de Sangre. Um, yes, I read that book. I was part of the play as well at university. Dramatice esa yeah. cosa. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, uh, did you like it? ¿Te gustó? Did you like it? Yes. Sí. What yes. what score you 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 give? What score of that book for you? Nueve. Nine. 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 Okay. That's fine. What about Claudita? Estoy leyendo. Hmm? Verónica decide morir. Um, you're reading. Yeah. Yes. Veronica de Paulo Coelho. From Paulo Coelho. Okay, I didn't read that book. I didn't read that book. I read The Alchemist and 11 Minutes. Both yes. of them. Ya, are... ya las leí la entonces. Ahorita okay. estoy leyendo Veronica de Sidemori. Okay. By now, do you like it? Hasta ahora te gusta? Yes, yes. Yes, you like it. Okay. More than The Alchemist and more than 11 Minutes? The same, lo mismo, the same. No. Or more, más. Más, más, está más interesante. More interesting than yes. the others, okay. Perfect, keep on reading it. Continúa leyéndolo, pero no en la clase. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we have also um, Kevin, hello, my friend, good evening. Hello, teacher. Eh, lamento la ausencia, pero... <laughs> Eh, la verdad es que estaba tan cansado de decidí cerrar los ojos unos minutos. I understand that. Sometimes. Okay. Eh, okay. Uh, did you take a nap? Tomaste una siesta. Sí, sí. Okay. Yes. Okay. Fifteen minutes. Ten minutes nap. Eh, creo que fueron como como de ten minutes. Okay. Well, sometimes we need like fifteen minutes to rest a little bit, and then we can continue. A veces necesitamos like como quince minutos. Yeah, but there are people that if they uh, close their eyes and they're very tired, they ne <laughs> they're not going to, to, to wake up again. Algunos como que cierran los ojos ya no se despiertan. Okay, como algunos que tenemos aquí, pero no voy a decir nombres. Okay, Kevin. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not saying names. Okay, uh, Kevin, what's the last book you read? Okay, the last one was Anna Frank's Diary. Diary. Anna Frank's diary. Yes, it's about the second, the second world war, right? The second uh, world war uh, in Germany, in Alemania, creo que es, right? It takes place in Germany. They are prisoners, right? Sí, uh -huh. it's, bueno, bueno, en realidad, sí, bueno, trata de una niña que estaba, vivió la guerra. Y... Yes, so <laughs> she describes, de... she describes, mm -hmm. okay. Perfect. What's the score uh, of that book for you? From one to ten? Nine. Nine. Okay. Okay. You like it. You like it. And, and that's fine. Okay. We're going to, well, uh, we're going to continue later with this. By now, uh, we have ways to say I don't understand. Forma de decir yo no entiendo. And it is very common to say I, I don't understand. But of course, uh, you can use uh, different, different phrases, especially these ones. I consider them like very useful and they are also common. They are not so weird or strange, no son tan extrañas. So you can use it in, 
in a common conversation, especially like uh, the first three ones, the primeras tres. I don't get it. That that is one phrase that I I always use. I don't get it. Sorry, I don't get it. Could you repeat that again, please? The other is, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Como que, mm, no tiene sentido. It doesn't make sense. I didn't pick that up. I didn't pick that up. Como que, no lo agarré. Cuando pick es levantar, pero va, no lo agarré. I didn't catch that. Catch, remember, that is atrapar. Uh, we use catch como cachar. Cacha esto. It's uh, uh, like words that we take from English. Como guachar, cachar, son palabras, uh, there are words taken from English and we apply them in Spanish. Cuando decimos guachar, decimos mirar. And cuando decimos cachar, es atrapar. Okay. Puchar es otra. Es push, es presionar. Pucha, pucha esto, sus. No. Push that, presiona esto. Okay. So that's it. Uh, say that again, please. Say that again, please. Es como, mm, dilo de nuevo, por favor. Come again, please. Es similar, como que, mm, venga, eso de nuevo, por favor. Eso, por favor, de nuevo. Say it again, please. Es similar a esto. Say it again or say that again, please. Whatever you want to say. Say that again, please. Siento que es un poquito más fluido. Pero puedes decir, say it again. Say it, say it again. Say it again. No, say it again. Say it again. Como say it. Say it again, please. So I'm going to pronounce again. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I didn't pick that up. I didn't pick that up. Recording is up. I didn't catch that. Say that again, please. Come again, please. Say it again, please. I'm sorry. And here we're not using quotation. So, uh, Susie. Uh, pick one of this and then Andrea. That, uh, say that again, please. Say. Say. Say that like, again, please. Yes, like say my name. Okay, Andrea, then Dorita. I did catch that. Mm -hmm. Dorita, then Diego. I don't get it. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I don't get a get it, get it. Porque get up es como no me levanto. Okay. I don't get I don't, it. I, I don't get, get it. it. Yes. Diego then Claudia Díaz. I didn't pick that up. Big one. Que okay. Claudia Díaz then Claudita. I did cut that. Didn't. Mm -hmm. I did it. Mm -hmm. Did it. Okay. Que okay. okay. Claudita then Kevin. Say it again, please. Again, again, a gay is a person who is homosexual, maybe, or a person who is happy. So say it again, again, con N. Say it again. Yes, again, yes. A gay is, un, you know, what is a gay? So that's it. And Kevin and then Diana, que ya me parece esto. Um, again, please. Okay, Diana, then Carla. It doesn't make sense. Perfect. Carla, then we go with Helen. Come again, please. Come again, please. Good. Uh, Carmen, hello again. Ah, Carla, I'm sorry. Carla and then, no, Carla is already, right? Participate. Ya participaste, verdad, Carlita? Yes. Bien. Okay. Carmen, then Helen. I don't get it. Good. Helen, then Alex. Come on, gay. Please. Okay, come again, please. Uh, Alexander. I did be that. that. Okay, nice. Necesito que este tenga un eh, claro que es again, 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 and again, and again, and again, and again. Okay, again, again. So that is a different form to say, I don't understand. You can say, teacher, I don't get it. Teacher, um, I didn't pick that up. Teacher, I didn't catch that. So you can say it. And even at work or in, in a formal conversation, imagine that person is explaining something and you don't get the idea. You don't understand. You can say, say it again, please. Entonces, eh, no, se no se traduce a dilo de nuevo, por favor, se traduce como que mm, no capto. 
puedes decirlo. And the person can use different words, okay? To say. And now we're having the, of the opinion of Carmen. Carmen, what is the last book you read? You remember? La Biblia. The Bible, Holy Bible, really? I don't trust you, no te creo, but okay, let's say yes. Let's say yes, okay, the Bible. Um, do you remember any special uh, chapter that you remember? ¿Te recuerda algún capítulo en especial, en specific? Mm, eh, un versículo. Ah, okay, en go específico, ahead. Yeah. Eh, 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 Filipenses 4, 19, que Dios va a proveer todas las necesidades conforme a sus riquezas en gloria, dice. Amén. That's good. Well, it's, it sounds like very inspiring. Se escuchó muy inspirador. I like that. Thank you. Thank you, Carmencita. Good one. So, here we have also... Um, Helen, where are you, Helen? ¿Qué te me hiciste? Ahí estás, Helen. Okay, Meg, what is the last book you read? Um, obras literarias. Okay, you remember one? Ana Frank. Ah, Ana Frank, uh, yes. Diary. Teacher, teacher este, saliéndome del tema, mi compañera Mercy tiene problemas en conectarse. Pero no ha escrito nada. Es que el teléfono se le quedó sin carga, la tarea la dejó en el trabajo, la compu no sé qué problemas tiene y no puede ingresar. Ok, vamos a esperar. Eh, dile que siga, siga intentando. Ok. Sí, porque a veces no recuerdo quién fue Diana o su ciclo fue la que tenía ese problema la vez pasada que no se podía conectar. Yo le dije que tenía que actualizar Zoom porque ese sí. problema me dio el lunes. A veces, a veces su, su, eh, sucede. De bueno, hecho, creo que on Monday I had that problem. El lunes tuve ese problema. Como me conecto un poquito temprano, vi que se me empezó a actualizar y yo no quería que se tardara mucho, pero bueno. Sí, no sé. A veces Voy que a, escribirle, a ver si me contesta. A ver, que sigue intentando que actualice. Porque a veces okay. uno está tomando el cafecito, ¿verdad? O quieren lavarse la cara. Sometimes. Sí. But uh, <laughs> say, tell her, keep on trying. Dile que, que, que sigue intentando. Ok. Ok, thank you. What about uh, Carla? Do you remember what is the last book you read? No remember. You don't remember, come on, Carla, mm -hmm. from high school, from elementary school, en la escuela uno lee colección C. Potter or something Pero like that. No. Hace muchos años. Well, yes, time is relative, tiempo relativo. Okay. Alex, what about you, Alex? Hello. Um, 100 años de silencio. Mm. Uh, who's the author? Quién es el autor? Because I, I don't know. That. I haven't heard about. It. Eh, no recuerdo el nombre. Solo sé el título que, que de una persona que esperó 100 años y nunca llegó el, el verdadero amor. Mm -hmm. Suena como mi historia. Well, thank you for sharing. What's the score you give? ¿Cuál es el puntaje que le das? From one to ten. Eh, eight. Eight. Okay. Thank you. Diana, did you tell me? No, write your book. Um, Marianela. Mm -hmm. Así se llamaba la obra. Mm -hmm. Es una obra literaria. Do you remember the, the name of the author? Um, eh, mitología griega. Mitos griegos, creo que se llamaba. Sí, en serio. Strange, really strange, because I've read a lot of Greek mythology, <laughs> literature. He read a little bit of literature. I don't remember. I'm going to I'm going to look for that. 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 Okay, nice. Do you remember? Well, did you like it? Te gustó? Yes. What score you you give to that book from one to ten? Um, 
Mm, pues es entretenido, así que quizás um, eight. One eight. Okay. Eight. Okay. That's fine. The last book I read was, was a novel that is, that is named Apuntes de una historia de amor que no fue. It is a Salvadorian author. It's a, it's a, a very good writer. It's Jacinta Escudos. Um, it was about a romance that two, well, the two friends have during the Civil War here in El Salvador in the 80s. And they belong to guerrilla. So it was very interesting because uh, they had to fight during the day and at night they had to uh, look for the time to see each other. Así que durante la guerra, pues, estaban y en la noche trataban de buscarse y, y se andaban cambiando de batallón. Yes, it was quite interesting. It sounds really yeah, interesting. Yeah, Romeo and Julieta. Huh? Yes, yes, I read it, I read it uh, on December, <laughs> on December, yeah. I recommend it to you. It's Salvadorian, the other. I, I didn't know her. Mm -hmm. What is her name? Jacinta Escudos. I think she has some editorials on La Prensa Gráfica. Uh, uh, she writes some posts sometimes. So Jacinta Escudos is the name of, of, of that writer. Really good one. Okay. okay. I recommend it to you. I, I give it nine. Yes, nine, nine point three. That's a really uh, interesting. And the end is, is really nice. So. I'm not going to give you spoilers, but in case you can read it, in any case you want to read, go ahead. Okay, and let's see. Mercy, hello there. Good evening. Well, she's going to appear in a couple of minutes. Okay, uh, we're going to have a survey in groups of three. Vamos a tener una encuesta en grupo de tres. We're going to ask how often. Um, add more questions on your own. Then interview three different classmates. So I'm going to, well, we're going to be in groups of three and you have to write how often do you have meetings? Uh, how often do you check your email? How often do you play sports? How often do you have breakfast uh, at work because it's different. Some people, they have breakfast at work and some others have breakfast at home, of course, or in the way, in the way, in the camino. And at least one, two, three, four, five. We can use four or five questions, okay? It is not necessary to use, oh, well, it, it is not necessary to ask the six questions, but you can ask four or five. So you can ask how often do you, and you can use uh, the daily routines. Pueden utilizar las rutinas, verdad, diarias. So you can ask, for example, Diego has a question, how often do you, um, do you check your email? So Diego is going to ask to Carmen and Claudia. And Carmen is going to, uh, say the answers, Claudia the answers, okay? So, well, I'm going to make groups of four names. And here uh, you're going to write the name. So it's a kind of, well, it's a survey, es como una encuesta that you're going to do, but you have to um, write the questions. Van a escribir las preguntas. If you want to add pastimes, of course you can do it. Si quieren agregar pasatiempos, how often do you read books? How often do you watch Netflix if you if you prefer in order to have different kind of questions? Lo que yo quiero es que tengan preguntas diferentes. Because if everybody's asking how often do you check your email, it's going to be a kind of boring. Okay? So you can uh, use different activities for this. And we're going to use this. Vamos a utilizar eso. Adverbs and expressions of frequency. I can give you like two options, le voy a dar dos opciones. You can say the frequency adverbs, I always, often, usually, sometimes, hardly ever, never, or 
you can use uh, expressions of frequency. Pueden utilizar las expresiones de frecuencia. Every day, every week, every month, every year, or once a day. Once a week, once a month, or twice. ¿Verdad? Pueden utilizar estos, que también, ¿verdad? Cada día, cada semana, cada mes, cada año. Once a day significa una vez al día. Uh, twice a week, dos veces a la semana. Three times a month, tres veces al mes, or four times a month. Okay, it's up to you. If you want, you can have a screenshot. Pueden tener una captura de pantalla if you want, okay? But I know that you already uh, use these words. Ya sé que utilizan todas estas palabras, ya las conocen, okay? It is not complicated for you. Okay, so remember you. Yes, Teacher, Delita. una pregunta. Mm -hmm. eh, para contestarlas, ¿cómo sería? O sea, porque... Pueden utilizar como, dos maneras. Como él y ella, ¿verdad? Ok, digamos que tú estás con Carla, con Susy y con Carmen. Entonces, yo ask a Carla, how often do you have meetings? Carla puede decir de dos maneras. Um, every week, cada semana. Ahí está la respuesta. O puede decir, I often have meetings. Yo tengo pues, reuniones a menudo. ¿Ok? Si quieren contestarlo fácil, es esto. ¿Ok? Easy. Eh, si después Carla quiere preguntar, how often do you talk to your boss? ¿Qué tan a menudo eh, hablas con tu jefe? You can say uh, uh, every day, todos los días. ¿Ok? Easy. Sencillo. Okay. Pueden utilizar estas también, of course. Pero lo que estoy haciendo es motivando a que utilicen diferentes tipos de vocabulario. No solo siempre digan always, often. Okay? Porque estas expresiones sirven más. I think the, these are like more useful. Ok. So, uh, this is the chart that you're going to... No es necesario que hagan el cuadro, pero por lo menos una idea de escribir los nombres. Okay? I'm going to create uh, like the, the groups. Voy a crear los grupos en este momento. Questions. I think we don't have questions. In this moment, in this moment uh, I recommend it to you to create the questions. Les recomiendo que hagan las preguntas para que después solo ya las eh, pues, llenen la, la encuesta. Hagan sus preguntas. Okay? Teacher, puede dejar el cuadrito un ratito más. Si quieren pueden tomar la captura. Uh -huh. O la pueden copiar. It's up to you. Depende de ustedes. Gracias. It's a pleasure. Ok. Hoy sí, Claudia. Yes, okay, perfect. Okay, see you in a couple of minutes.
Bien, va. Si quieren empezamos, Claudia. Vaya, entonces, digamos, yo voy a hacer dos, usted dos y Carla dos. No, usted es Carla. Helen. 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 Vaya, entonces sería... Vamos a ver. Hola, ¿todo bien acá? ¿Todo bien con la actividad? Ya, yep, no problema. Eh, Helen que no entendió dice Vaya. Un cuadrito por favor uh -huh. ahorita uh -huh. ahí está tómale captura si, si gustas okay. y mientras tanto eh, por ejemplo Claudia hace una pregunta y an vas anotando debajo de los nombres la respuesta ok Claudia de ahí puede ir Carla okay. de, de ahí Claudita de ahí Helen ok uh -huh. teacher okay. Este, Mercy no se pudo conectar definitivamente Pobrecita. Bueno, ok. Después vamos a ver eso. Gracias. Muy amable. Ok, go ahead. Bye, sí. Claudia. Ok. How, Bye. how of... Voy. <laughs> uh -huh. Ok. How often do you have meeting? Meeting. How? Meeting. How often do you have meeting? Of. Tip. Eh. Uh, Dora. Diga. How, how often do you go to the party? Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. How often do you, do you go to the party? Um, once a year. Okay, okay, once a year. Una vez al año vas a la, a la fiesta. No le creo, pero... No, ni yo no le creo. <laughs> no le creo, pero vaya. Uh -huh. Okay.
you told me once a year. Once a year. Okay, okay. And what about you, Diana? Um, once, sometimes. Oh. Sometimes. Abdominales. Mm -hmm. Ya terminamos. Did you finish? Yes. Wow. How many questions uh, every person? Uh, one question per, per person. Mm, but you have to do at least four. Tiene que hacer four. cuatro. Really? Yes. Yo pregunté. Mm. <laughs> okay, at least three. Al menos tres, at least three. Ok, go ahead. Pero mire, va, o sea, digamos que yo voy a hacer una pregunta y la misma pregunta me la van a contestar ellos tres. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Ah, o sea, okay. tú preguntas, tú le preguntas a Dora, ¿cómo how, how, how you have meetings? Y te contesta. Después a Kevin y te contesta. Por eso aquí vas a escribir el nombre de Kevin. Ah. Nombre de Dora. Ah. André. Ah. Están perdiendo el toque, están perdiendo el toque, WhatsApp. Hey, pero aprendimos que Dora hace dos veces ejercicio al día. Da sí. Dancing, dancing, cumbia, of course. Pues sí. Ok. Ya bueno, denle con todo. Ok. Uh, two more, no two more, but two more questions. Okay. Please. Vaya. Okay. Vaya. I think every day. Every Ah. I am every day. <laughs> I am every day. Oh, every day. Every day, Sarina. Every day. Okay. La pregunta era. How often do you drink coffee? Do you coffee? Drink coffee. Ajá. Vaya, su pregunta, Ellen. Eh... Oh. En inglés es every day. Ay. Todos los días. Todos. Ajá. Ajá. <risa> Yo no fui. Yo no va, va, Y la otra, y la otra. Yo no fui. Así levantando la mano. Yo tengo arriba las manos, yo no. no mire, este grupo, este grupo está muy especial, muy peligroso este grupo, este grupo está. Mm -mm. Usted tuvo la culpa. Qué mujer. Bueno, ya me hicieron reír. Sigan, pues, aprovechándose de mi inocencia. Sigan, sigan. Ay, ojo. La inocencia. Yes. Ya le encontró. Pero tiene 17 años. ¿Cómo no? Por ¿Cómo tres. No? <risa> Casi. Ya le encontró por platita. Ok, Helen. Relaja, relaja lo gusta. Eh. Eh. One, once a year. Vaya, eh, Alex. Alex. How often do you eat fish? Eat fish is... Um... Pescado. ¿Qué tan yeah. seguido comer pescado? Herly ever. Over. Ever or over. Herly ever. Herly ever. Uh, how often do you go to the beach? ¿Qué tan seguido va a la playa? Herli um, Ever. Herli Ever. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Para conocer más sobre la palabra de Dios. Ajá, de Anita. Te estaban evangelizando. Ya escuché y dije, vaya, te han visto cara de malía. <risa> Pero pusiste atención, did you pay attention? Um, sí. <laughs> More or less. Okay. Okay, um, we're going to 
split this um, activity in two parts. Uh, I need to give me information about three, uh, select one of the questions that you have asked and tell me that the info. And we're going to start with carbon. Okay. Uh, the, the question, question is, the question is, how often do you go to the supermarket? Okay. Uh, Diego mm -hmm. uh, goes to the supermarket every week. Mm -hmm. Diana always is to see always. Oh yes, because they live there. <laughs> they, live <in> the <laughs> they work there, right? Yeah. They they have to go mandatory, obligatoriamente, verdad? Si no, mm -hmm. no hay trip. Okay, what about? No comemos. No comen, huh? Okay. Danita, I don't know if you remember, but I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure if uh, it exists now, that, but a couple of years ago, well, I guess like seven years ago, on the cashier, uh, there was like a big, board or poster with a lot of photographs that, with uh, people that uh, try to steal things que trataban de robar cosas, like this. So they were very angry or oh, sad. Really? Todavía. I haven't seen it, ya no la he visto. Really? Yes. Bueno, and... yo entendí que, era, que eran fotografías que presentaban. De la gente que se robaba las cosas. People Todavía. Ah, bueno, pero es que hoy más que todo en tiendas se ve eso. No tanto no, en el supermercado. No, en supermarket, en <laughs> super selectos, right? No, bueno, yo no he visto últimamente. No, a couple of... Ah, lo que hacen okay, es... Okay, pero... eh, Susi. Lo que hacen últimamente es este, tenerlos ellos como en su cuarto donde están las cámaras. Ahí mantienen las fotografías de los ladrones. Pero sí, antes sí lo hacían. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Quizás era un... Mm, bueno, pero, pero sí, creo que Diego tal vez recuerda a Carmen, porque me decían... Era como, como enemigo que... público. Yes. Y a... Sí, yo vi antes. Ahora ya no, yeah, pero yeah, antes yeah, sí. Lo exponían. Exponían. I, I think Diego was very famous, right, Diego? No. Yes. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no, and some of them have tried to steal food. Algunos trataban de, de robar comida. But some others tried to steal alcohol. Like banana mm -hmm. light and something like that. And yeah, yeah that right? That was very common. <laughs> it was very mm -hmm. common. And their faces were like very sad, angry. Pero sí vi algunas caritas. Vi uno que salía así, bien, bien feliz así. Y yo, bueno. In teacher, in la actitud. Sometimes I, 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 saw, I saw a girl uh, trying Stealing. to steal shampoo. Mm. Shampoo and I don't know what else, but so or bad things for for the bath. Had, right? She mm -hmm. had about around three bottles in her in her brow, or, or I don't know. Oh, where. Wow, well, uh, yes. maybe she had a lot of space in there. Mm -hmm. Pero no como una que salió una noticia que llevaba un tele en, en la falda. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know if that was TV, pero sí vi que de la falda. Según el video, uh -huh. yes, I think they have enough space. Creo que tienen mucho espacio ahí, right? but in any case, um, they were like cuffed. Fueron como atrapados, cachado. Yeah. But it, it was, well, I think it is risky. It's eh, muy arriesgado. Hacerlo, so. mm, okay. I don't know if Diana, Susi, Andrea, Carla have seen that, Claudita. ¿Han visto algo así? No. Yo sí he visto, pero cuando los han, digamos, sí, sí, agarrado. Ah, no. <risa> que, que los han agarrado, o sea, robando a las personas y las detienen y hasta la policía llega y, y no sé, un solo lío. Wow. Unfortunately. Uh -huh. them, pobrecito. Bueno, well, ni tanto. Pero... Ok. Ok, we continue, ya que hablamos de esa anécdota de cuando así agarraron a Andreita y después la contrataron. Ok, so Andrea, you go, tell me. Con el venadito, por eso la contrataron. <laughs> 
Nah, no, a, no a, a alguien de, de rojo. Yo que sí, no es, que no hace Andrea, hoy pero... para en Semana Santa fue en la vacación, llegó un, llegó un, ah, un muchacho. ¿Qué vos? ¿Cómo no dijiste yo sí? No, okay. so, uh -huh. no yo sí he visto de que ah, llevaba, uh -huh. entró con que iba a comprar, empezó a ver, agarró una botella de José Cuervo, de la ¿Cómo sabía? que vale okay. el litro. Y empezó a dar vuelta en todo. De repente se vio la huella que lo habían agarrado ahí, que hasta la policía llegó. Y sí, se lo llevaron porque ya llevaba desodorantes y la botella. O sea, que ya llevaba varias cosas. Llevaba para todo. O sea, le iba a tomar, después se bañaba. Wow, a complete set. Ok, that's fine. <laughs> Bien, ok. Bueno. Uh, don't do it, my friends. Don't do it, please. No lo hagan. No lo hagan. Mejor pidan fiado. Ok, Andreita. Your turn. What's the question? Okay. Y, y cómo voy a contestar? Solo voy a decir, vaya lo. Decir la pregunta, la... el nombre uh -huh. y lo y lo que contestaron. Yes. Okay. How often do you watch TV? Mm -hmm. Dora four times a day. Kevin always and Alex hardly ever. Okay. Thank you, Susie. Okay, my question was, uh, how often do you drink coffee? Diego, twice a day, Carmen, sometimes, and Diana, always. Thank you, uh, Carla, and then Dora. What's your question? Vamos, Carla. No, ¿cómo es que voy a contestar? Ok, eh, si quieres escucha, escucha cómo lo hacen los demás uh -huh. y después te voy a dar tiempo, ¿ok? Ok, eh, okay who's next? ¿Quién había dicho que iba después? Dorita, Dorita and then Kevin. Dorita, ¿ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. How often do you eat fish? Alex, early ever, Andrea, Once year, Kevin, twice a month. Twice a month. Tenemos visto, Kevin. Okay. Andrea, once a year. Come on. Okay. Así no me gusta. The Holy Week in Semana Santa. Okay. Um, Kevin, your turn, and then Diego. How often do you do exercise? Alex, say... Uh, hardly ever. Dorita say twice a day. Uh, how often do you listen music? Uh, Alex say always. Y no le pregunté ni, ni Andrea ni a Dora. Okay, no problem. Ejemplo. Solo un detalle. Cuando decimos, por ejemplo, Andrea dice, decimos Andrea says, Andrea dice, okay. o decimos Andrea said. Andrea dijo, ¿ok? Sí, mm -hmm. okay. Andrea says, Dora, Dorita says, or Andrea said, Dorita said. But everything was okay. De ahí el resto bien. Gracias, Kevin. Thank you. Ok, Diego, then we go with Diana. Okay, okay. The question is, how often do you watch the news? Mm -hmm. And Carmen said, Every day, and Diana said never, and Susie, Susie said never too. Come on, girls, you need to be updated. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what about the memes? What about the memes? Just started. They uh, heard me. Yes, yes. But it is like yeah. very okay. slow, como que está lento la señal. Yes, I'm, I'm having some problems. Some problems, okay. And with that. Okay. okay, we're going to wait a little bit. Thank you. And Diana, then um, Helen. The question is, uh, how often do you go to the gym? Um, every party? Everybody Say, said, said, this. said, never. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who is everybody? Who is everybody? 
Okay, who is everybody? No. Hey, ¿quién es? Es Carmen, Diego, Susi, and Susi. Okay, welcome to my team. Bienvenido a mi equipo. Okay, good. Good for us. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, uh, Alex, are you ready, Alex? Yes. Go ahead. How often do you go to the bar? Dinora says one year. Thank you. Who else? Again, mas? Uh, how often do you go to the soccer? Kevin says one in the weekend. Okay. Thank you. Claudita and then Carla. The question is, how often do you visit your parents? Uh, Carla said never. Helen said every day. Claude said every day. Okay, thank you. Carla, then Claude, uh, Claudia Diaz. And the question, how often do you drink and coffee? Helen says every day, Claudia every day, y Claudita every day. Okay, thank you very much. And Claudia Diaz, you're the last. Okay, my question is, how often do you have a meeting? Uh, Claudia, uh, ounce, ounce? Una vez se dice once. Once, once. Once a month. Um, Carla, Claudia, once a month. Mm -hmm. Helen, twice, twice a month. Twice. Twice a month. Mm -hmm. And me, once a month. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, we're, uh, we're going to continue. With um, now, uh, here we have the free topic. A ver, quién me va, va a comenzar con el tema libre. You were supposed to select one topic and mention at least three advantages or disadvantages. That is something that is uh, quite uh, simple or easy by using the Lincoln words, utilizando las palabras de enlace. Okay. So as you remember, I sent that information on WhatsApp group. Dorita wasn't uh, yet. No estaba, verdad? En el WhatsApp hasta hace poco te mandé el link, Dorita. Pero sí estamos. Estoy enviando tareas, verdad? Igual que el módulo pasado. Okay. O sea que las speaking activities aquí la aquí la las hacías. Sí. Okay, Dorita. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ahora entiendo. Por eso es que sí te notaba un poquito más pausada. Porque... Tú puedes hablar más fluido, ¿ok? Bien, a partir del lunes, ¿verdad? Seguimos, ¿ok? So, we're going to start, uh, ¿ok? Volunteers, voluntario. Oh, Susi está con todo, ¿ok? Es que aproveché mi tiempo, vea. No, no voy a comenzar. Okay. Showtime. Vamos. Eh, topic obesity should be labeled uh, this. Seis, así disease. se pronuncia. Disease. disease. Okay. Okay. Disadvantage. Being overweight has a great, great influence, influence on serious or very serious disease. Disease, ¿verdad? Disease. Right. Disease. Sorry. Secondly, it also influences a lot in psychological disorders such as depression or low self-esteem. By the way, it not only affects others, cause it, it can also start from an early age, according to studies, studies sorry, be, 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 being uh, overweight affect children learning. It's so long, it's largo, muy largo, no importa. No problem. Okay. Okay. Advantage. Uh, firstly, firstly, one of the benefit of being obese is that it, it is not so easy for you to cool down. 
as your internal as your internal body temperature is higher than normal. Then another advantage I'll I'll do sorry, no sé cómo se pronuncia esta palabra. Although, although, sorry, all this, no although it seems abnormal, is that if you receive a bullet impact being overweight, uh, can prevent it from reaching your organs. In fact, it depends on the impact, but it could be useful, avoid some very internal enjoy. Um, in conclusion, they all overweight greatly affect our health of however if you find yourself in this situation and you have already done everything to change but have not been successful you can lead a healthy life to avoid complication and see the positive positive size of times wow Ya no voy a comer nada por eso. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, see, I think that topic is very interesting. Uh, obesity. Um, and thank you for, for your points. They were very concrete. I'm going to mention only a couple of words. Although, although, obese, obeso, obese, advantage, or advantage. Como tú quieras, advantage or advantage. Okay, so see. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Teacher. Well, wonderful. Thank you, Susie. Okay, uh, what if we go with Carmen and then Diego? El mío es chiquito. No, no problem. It will be 10 <laughs> seconds. Puede ser de 10 segundos. Ya, super bad. El de Susie ya, no se puede. No, no problem. <laughs> eh, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be extended. No tiene que ser eh, muy largo. You know? okay. No, no problem. Go ahead. I, I'm going to talk about the internet. Mm -hmm. The internet has come to revolution the world. Among its advantage is that the faster and most accessible global communication also allows you to know the news in real time and in addition a lower new ways of working. Among its disadvantage is that there is a lot of false information, a lot of harmful content for children as well as danger of cyber criminals. Yes, definitely. Uh, it has advantage and disadvantages. Thank you, Carmen. Uh, it was very concrete. I like that. Okay, nice. Uh, the internet, remember, the internet communication and allowed. Allowed is permitido, ¿verdad? Uh, que mencionaste, allowed. Nice. That was wonderful. Thank you, Carmen. And Diego, and then we go with... Um, Kevin. Okay. But teacher, I, I didn't get focus on, on the advantage or disadvantage. No, no problem. But I will try to, to mention someone. You, you can mention different okay. points. Okay. Uh, the topic that I choose is government. Okay. Governments should invest in alternative energy sources. And to begin, I have to say, of course, government and have to do it because that action is necessary to uh, firstly, preserve natural resources and secondly, decrease the impact on the environment uh, caused by using fossil fuels as well as that is um, important to inherit good practices to our new generations. Uh, but on the other hand, if government and societies continue with the same methods, there will not be even a harm to inherit. And in conclusion, governments should do it before it's too late. 
the governments have to invest in, in new source of, of energies. And mm -hmm. I will try to to, uh, to mention some advantage in the first advantage that I know, I think that is, um, I don't know, um, mainly, or, or the main advantage is can inherit to the new generations good practices and, and a better place to live. And the main disadvantage is maybe it can be a little a little bit uh, expensive because it requires a little bit more of, of invest. And this is that I think, I don't know. Okay, thank you, Diego. Uh, thank you, Diego. I think there are a lot of uh, different alternatives to um, create energy or to transform different uh, methods that we currently have. Uh, of course, it, it is needed investment, especially on, well, for saving, saving the planet, reducing pollution and uh, focusing on, on the next generations, right? Because we are like, we're consuming a lot of, a lot of uh, nature, a lot of uh, natural resources in our environment. It, it is not in a good uh, state. So, well, thank you for your points. I think uh, you okay. did everything was okay. okay. And I, I agree with okay. that. Yes, but it is a matter of investment and priorities. Unfortunately, uh, the, the governments are not uh, pushed to the, that or they are not convinced or they don't want it, right? I think that they don't want it. <laughs> yeah, definitely they don't want it, okay. Nice, uh, perfect. We go now with Kevin and uh, Diana. Okay, the mass internet. Okay. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ventajas, dicho? Advantage or advantage. Advantage, advantage. Okay, advantage. Speed in communication because you can communicate with family or friends even if they are outside the country. Mm -hmm. uh, second, generation of new job, jobs because there are several job page. Third, access to multiple, no sé cómo se dice, multiple, ¿cómo se dice? Multiple, multiple. Multiple content. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very essential when looking for information of any kind. Mm -hmm. This uh, is an advantage, es de ventaja. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Disadvantage, yes. Okay. Use of personal for you know purpose online harassment it can generate addiction okay in conclusion it is used in our areas of the daily life for example in the information and file it is very effective it's very useful in the same way in education Oh, okay, thank you. Excellent. Just one word. Purpose. Purpose. That's the only one. Okay. okay. Thank you for okay, telling and mentioning uh, advantage and disadvantages of the internet. Of course, I think there are two. All of them. All you mentioned. Thank you, Kevin and Diana. Then we go with another activity. Okay. And um, the topic is global warming. Disadvantage. First, increasing acidity uh, of rainfall and air pollution may result in allergy and asthma in human. Second, extinction of other species cause an imbalance in the ecosystem. Besides an increase in disaster means more the insurance. No sé cómo se dice eso. Insurance. Insurance. Mm -hmm. in, um, 
although on the other hand, some advantage are first, mountains become more visible. 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 Second, less energy required to warm cold place. And finally, plant and growth can be increased in, in Arctic, Antarctic, Siberia, and other frozen regions, among others. In my opinion, I consider that there are more disadvantage that advantage. Okay, thank you, global warming. That is a current topic that it is affecting not only nowadays, but uh, it began a lot of years ago. And of course, uh, there are some countries that are taking into account those disadvantages and they're having some, um, they're having some projects, but th there is a few percentage of the countries. Most of them don't care similar to uh, what mentioned, Diego mentioned about alternatives for energy. There are a lot of things that they can start doing now to avoid uh, pollution, avoid uh, consuming a lot of a uh, natural environment. But okay, thank you, Denita. The only word, although, 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 the only word. That was nice. Thank you, gracias. Uh, we're going to continue later. Te vamos a continuar después, okay? But thank you. All your topics have been interesting and um, it is good that you're reading or practicing uh, vocabulary, new vocabulary and pronunciation, even fluency. Así que se dan cuenta que, que tan importante es leer, ¿verdad? En inglés, porque no es lo mismo leer uh, by mind, in your mind, que leer y pronunciarlo. Leerlo así solo con la mente, dice, ah, así está fácil. Ya a la hora de leerlo, un tanto fluido, cambia un poco, ok, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds, un par de segundos, a ver qué recuerdan de esto, ok, go, te voy a preguntar Helen, Claudia, Kevin, ok Claudia, you're the first, Claudia Díaz, because mm -hmm. you remember. Okay, uh, please. Okay, actuality. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Helen. And then Kevin. <laughs> yes, Sam, right? Okay, perfect. Now, Kevin, you go, and then Alex. You know, poder now. Yo estaba revisando una lista diciendo. Ok, ok. Alex. The new angel. Mm -hmm, thank you. What about uh, Dorita? Supervise the new. Mm -hmm, nice. Andrea. Right away. Right away. Diana, then Carmen. Please send package okay. package yes Carmen then Diego and look and absolutely absolutely te gustó esa verdad <laughs> okay Diego then Susi okay yes ma am do you need anything else perfect ma am instead of madam yeah ma'am that's good uh, Susi uh, Lay right away, and do you need anything else? Yes. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Hello, uh, Christian. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Everything okay? Uh, ¿Todo bien? The, uh, yes. Yes. Okay. The general meeting. The general Whatever. meeting. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. So here we have Marcia and Luke Skywalker conversation. So can you see, please send this package? Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. 
Ah, Helen me dijo actuality. Está mintiendo esta mujer. Ok. Sí, Helen, actuality me dijiste. Hmm. Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. So can you see there are um, imperatives? Pueden notar los imperativos, son verbos. ¿Qué verbos pueden haber ahí? Realmente, este, esos verbos son órdenes que se están... Right. Bueno, right away es como mm, enseguida, ¿verdad? En un momento. Mm -hmm. Tienen que ser verbos. They are involved. Right. Están en Verbice. el you. Give, write, mm -hmm. send, right. send, send. Mm -hmm. supervise. Yes. Give. Give. Mm -hmm. send. Se dan cuenta que eh, estos, estas oraciones no tienen el you porque normalmente es los imperatives, they don't use you. Um, y son indicaciones. Please send this package. Por favor, envíe este, este paquete. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Yes, actually, please write a memo about the new date. Sí, por favor, escribe un memo, un memorando. Give, supervise, aunque se pida, please, por favor, este, no deja de ser una orden o una indicación, una instrucción. Okay, so we're going to practice this. Vamos a practicar esto rápidamente. Y Teacher, luego, uh -huh. ¿me, puede, ¿me puede explicar dónde la segunda de Luke? Bueno, la primera de Luke. Luke abajo Skywalker. De Marcia, que dice, yes, my... Um. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am es como madame. Es como señora. Ok. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Sí, es como... In French, we use madame. ¿Verdad? En francés utilizamos madame. Es ma'am. Sí, como... Sí, señora. Okay, es como decir yes sir, okay, that's it. Y el sir es inglés, por ejemplo sir es, es como sir Elton John, sir David Gilmour, sir Brian May, verdad. Entonces es un título que le dan sir eh, ma'am, okay. En este caso es madame. Okay, we're going to practice it. Uh, do we have uh, difficult words? Creo que no tenemos palabras difíciles, verdad? Absolutely, absolutely. Interns, supervise, memo, meeting, new date, anything, anything. Package, mm -hmm. package, package. Okay. We're going to practice it quickly. Ese va a ser bastante rápido. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Le tomaron captura? No, right. Por si no le tomaron captura. Porque no le di tiempo. Esta vez sí no le di tiempo. Hay que tomarle captura. Please, please, please. Hoy sí no le di. No, hoy sí no le di tiempo. Normalmente siempre le doy tiempo. Okay, now that we have the, the conversation, ahora que tenemos la conversación, let's do it. Vamos. Teacher, ponga de nuevo el cuadro, please. Okay. Ahí, Susi. Ahora sí, transfieran a mi sala. Ahí, Susi, ahí, Susi. Transfer. Hola, Anita. Hola, Danita. Ay, creo que se perdió Susi. Sí, es que no sé por qué, pero es que después la mandé a, 
Permitirme. Tengo que ir a ver a esta mujer. A traerla hoy. Teacher. Teacher, you there? Hi. Diego, tiene problemas. Tienes problemas con, con las alas. Sí. Me, Me saca, y... no sé por qué. Hello, ¿qué Ajá. pasó, Diego? Te, uh, I don't know what happened, teacher, but I was alone. I was alone there. Alone in the dark. Okay. Alone in the dark. <laughs> ok, también Susi, pero no sé por qué si a, a todos los, los tenía. Me saca, no sé, pero me sacó de sala 1 y luego a sala 7 y así Diego. no sé. Ok, let me see. I'm sorry. No problem. Ok, go ahead. Ajá, Helen. Ok, Helen, are you there? ¿Estás ahí, Helen? Hello. Sí, aquí estoy. Ok, ayúdame a leer eso. Commands. Command er direct into instructions into of order do you something something yes eh, commands are mm -hmm, son eh, instrucciones directas verdad o puede ser órdenes para hacer algo vamos a ver use please plus command ok podemos utilizar el please más el command para que se escuche polite, to sound more polite, para que se escuche eh, de manera amable. No es lo mismo decir, este, 
eh, eh, Diana, Diana, apaga la cámara. Es como, eh, Diana, ¿puedes apagar la cámara, por favor? Tranquila, Diana, tranquila. Ajá, entonces, el please minimiza eh, que se escuche pesado. Ok, please, could you repeat, please? Can you do it, please? Entonces, el please es eh, pues, parte importante para eso. Ok, tenemos complete uh, the following commands. Use the conversation above as reference. Bien, vamos a utilizar los verbos de acá. Ok. Send, write, give, supervise. Ok. So, uh, we're going to have um, Diego pick one of these and then uh, we're having Andrea. Ok, the number one is write a memo about the new date. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's it. Write a memo. Perfect. Uh, Andrea. Number two is give me one of those stickers. Give me one of those stickers. Yes, in the of the WhatsApp. Okay. And then we're going to have Christian, right? Christian, the new interns. Mm -hmm. Supervise the new intern. Yes, ya vamos a hablar de las indicaciones que ustedes se le dan y todo eso. Right? Entonces, vamos con free topic. And uh, to continue, we're going to to have, Andrea, are you ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead, please. And after Andrea, we're having Claudita. Topic, abortion. Advantage. Así es verdad, advantage. 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 It will be avoided. First, unwanted pregnancies. Second, overpopulation. Third, babies with malformations. Fourth, teenage mothers. Fifth, abandon, ab abandon, abandon, child, abandon. abandoned children. Disadvantage. First, infections. Second, hemorrhage. Third, procedure not performed correctly. Fourth, the that. In addition, a legal abortion will avoid carrying out the procedure in clandestine, clandestine clinic, a safe abortion will be taken into account that it will be carried out in a suitable place with a surgical equipment and will be performed be a professional avoiding. Complications due to a procedure not carried out correctly. In conclusion, an abortion should be legal in some cases, for instance, when there are malformations in the fetus or when there is risk of death in both. Nice. Uh, so abortion is not that bad, right? But uh, here we have, but also it is not something that's very, very good. Thank you for mentioning those advantages and disadvantages and procedure, procedure. Mm -hmm. Procedure. Mm -hmm. And suitable. Suitable. Donde dice suitable, bien complicada esa suitable. Uh -huh. Nada uh -huh. que ver, suitable, nada que ver con suitable, right? Uh -huh. But thank you, Andreita. Very good job. Okay, Claudita, right? And then after Claudita, we're having. Um, Christian. Okay, Claudita. Okay, it's a social and political topic. Animal testing should be banned. Of course, in the first place, I really like animals. But this topic is a really bad because there are many bad people in, in this world. How do you know love animals? However, they are continuing to do them to date for many experiments. There's the, the, how are the, 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 Point of view, animal should not be used for any experience. Good, Claudita. Use. Use. 
¿verdad? Usados. Uh -huh. okay. ok, no uh, experimentation with animals, right? Poor of them, pobrecitos, right? Y es yes. mejor que, que experimente with criminals, mejor con los criminales que experimenten. Yes, yes, sí, sí. Los que tienen pena de muerte, eso. Yes, all, all them, the, the people who have committed uh, murders or like rape men, los que han cometido violaciones y, yes. y asesinatos, why not, right? And animals are, are innocent. Los animalitos son inocentes. Exactly. Right? Yeah, that, that, that's the way. Okay, thank you, Claudita. And uh, who's next? Quien va al siguiente para ir al otro tema? Vamos, Christian, right? Are you, are you ready, Christian? Or you need more time? Uh, bien. Yes. yes. Bien, what? Uh, ready or you need more time? I am ready. Okay, ya lo go ahead. Tarde, pero no. Voy a hacer algo. Kill it. Vamos, adelante. The select topic is... Uh, all people should be vegetarians. Vegetarians. Vegetarian. Vegetarian. Vegetarians. Mm -hmm. uh, the third advantage is they all grid vegetables uh, beside create home gardens. And the second advantage is decrease in overweight people and their advantage is buying vegetable in shaper and finally our conclusion is we must have a nutri nutri nutritional uh, balance Yes, yes. No, 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 estuvo bien. It was okay. I consider, as you mentioned, nutritional balance. Uh, it is uh, so important in our lives. We are accustomed to eat a lot of meat and different kind of oils and fries. And mucha, mucha cosa fritas, mucha carne. We, we eat it. And it is delicious. I don't know if you love it, but in my case, I love pizza, hamburgers, hot dogs, all those things. French fries, papitas fritas, of course, but they are not so healthy. No son saludables, right? So uh, we need to have that, like that balance. Thank you, Chris. Perfect. Okay, vamos a las uh, órdenes que nos dan. Pero no las parejas, sino en el trabajo. Okay, so uh, here we have imperative uh, verbs. Uh, let's see, Dorita, could you help me, please? Or bossy verbs. Could you read it, please? Dorita, I can hear you. See, imperative verbs or, or bossy. bossy verbs are words that tell people what to do. We use, use them a lot in, in our hours instructions instructions okay kevin please can you read this and this one kevin please the first and the second one read kevin Lel. read okay click the button mm -hmm. mix the no sé cómo se pronuncia. Ingredients. 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 Ok, thank you. Click, thank okay. you. Bottom, bottom. Uh -huh. Click the bottom and mix the ingredients. Ok, Susie, you go with this and this. Ok. Fold the paper. Mm -hmm. Open the box. Ok, thank you very much. Now we go with Diego with this. Cook. And this one. Cook for 25 minutes. And what else, teacher? And the last one. Okay, and I stick the pieces together. Okay, yeah, that's it. So um, let's see. When we have, um, these are bears, ¿verdad? Click en el botón, mezcla los ingredientes, dobla el papel, fold, es doblar, fold paper, open the box, abre la caja. Cook for 25 minutes. This is important, especially that that is basic. Uh, especially when we are cooking and stick the pieces together es pega las piezas juntas ¿verdad? por eso se llama glue stick ¿verdad? porque es pega ¿verdad? se refiere a pegar fold es doblar so uh, I'm going to well let's talk about vamos a hablar de los 
de los imperatives que ustedes eh, reciben en el trabajo. ¿Ok? Miren, aquí les dice mezcla los ingredientes, eh, cocina por 25 minutos. Think about, think about the, the instructions you receive at work. Piensen al menos en una instrucción que reciben en el trabajo. ¿Ok? We're going to start with Kevin. ¿Ok? Think about, think about. One instruction you receive at work. And then we go with Diego. Will be um, check the product. Check the product. Thank you, Diego. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Diego, then Susi. Okay, my supervisors always always say me. Uh, search for more contacts for the customers. Okay, search. So you have search. to be keep on searching. Okay, mm -hmm. fine. Susi, then. Uh, Diana. Fill the shelves. Mm -hmm. That's nice. You have to do it every day or uh, every two days or every day, Susie. Uh, every day. Every day every you day. have to do it. Okay, that's nice. Uh, Diana, then Christian. Mm -hmm. Order the products. Order the products. Christian, then Dorita. Uh, prepare uh, informe como uh, yes uh, yes report 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 prepare report yes Dorita then Carmen make call make call full calls full calls okay uh, Carmen then Claudita prepare the agreement okay the agreement uh, Claudia then Helen Receive the visit. Receive the visit. Okay. Uh, Helen, then Carla. To die way the bat. Okay. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that again, please? Do die way the bat. Eva. Eva, the tax, taxes, eh, los impuestos. Contabilidad. Hmm? De contabilidad. Ah, contency. Okay. Okay, like prepare the, the accountancy or the finance. Okay, thank you. Uh, Carla, right? And Carla Samos. Yes. Uh -huh. Type inventory. Okay, uh, Claudita and Alex. Paste the price. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Alex, then Andrea. Activate the alarm. Uh, okay, and Andrea. Place price price. Okay, place the price. Okay, and we're going to finish almost. Uh, nos quedan 13 minutos, 13 minutes, and we finish. So uh, the the other person is going to be uh, Christian. Okay, Christian, you go. Uh, Dorita, are you ready? Or in any case, tomorrow uh, on Monday, Monday, mañana. Mm -hmm. No, el lunes. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, no problem. Pero me recuerdan, me recuerdan porque no vaya a ser que vaya a Ahora, no. Ah, ahora, oh, yes. a eso le llamo power. Ok, poder. Eh, Cristian. Alex, right? Ok. Legal human organ should be uh, legalist. In my opinion, a daughter are advantages and disadvantages. Mm -hmm. For example, an advantage is my B2B able to say allow, allow one who needs an organ to continue. Living in disadvantage might be not too big. Able to say a family member because they are not legalists in the country. Okay. Yeah, it's a matter of legalization, right? And uh, not all the things that are not legal are bad. And uh, that's a matter of, of common agreements between enterprises. Hay empresas que tienen uh, acuerdos sobre algunas legalidades, so that, that's like a big deal. Thank you, Alex, uh, you go. Now, what about if we go with uh, Dorita, you ready? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yesterday, 
yesterday you asked if studying was necessary to achieve success. Mm. I think that if it is necessary but not indispensable, it all depends on the attitude of the person, but our all knowing how to take advantage of opportunities, import the skill and abilities that we have to work. Many people have achieved many things and with, without knowing how to read or write. Finally. Thank you, excellent, yes. And it is not fundamental, right? But it is important, okay? So it depends uh, what you, what's your objective in life, okay? Thank you. Solo una cosa, Dorita, depends, depends on. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing, okay? Thank you, thank you, Dorita. Uh, Claudia, are you ready? And we are about to finish. Yes. Okay, Claudia and then Carla, and we finish. Topic. All people have the right to all gangs. Ah, see, yeah? All ah. gangs. Gangs. The, 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 the armas. Uh-huh. Ah, bueno, después gangs. Helen, que se me ha quedado Helen. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. To begin with, my opinion is yes and no. Mm -hmm. At the same time, firstly, firstly, because not all of you are widely filled for this responsibility of owning a weapon Le Leslie, Leslie, I think in world health to how less rob robberies in our country. Uh, um, ventajas ev ev advantage 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 le least theft they sell vintage more death from misusy of weapons okay. okay thank you thank you qualified Qualified One. and robberies, robberies, mm -hmm. only two mm -hmm. words. And yes, uh, there are some people that maybe they uh, they are qualified to to use weapons, but there are some others that are not. But unfortunately, we don't have a good control about weapons uh, here in a, in our country. Okay, thank you, Carla and Helen, and we finish. Uh, we have eight minutes. Ocho minutos en terminamos. Okay. Carla, you ready? Uh, yes. Hi, people should be should be vegetarian. 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 Mm -hmm. Veg vegetarian. First, firstly, combat um a visit visiting um over rain problems. And start some attach and lack of energy. Okay, so second mm -hmm. and yes. keep the alternate uh, keep the al arterial mm -hmm. presume lower soul soul metabolism and here. We have on the grandson, we all suffer, suffering from diabetes and colon cancer. It transcend ring of the hair, hair, let me, let me. Conclusion, how, um, how a uh, healthier life. In grants and the risk 
of heart at an anemia to lack of protein. Okay, thank you. Yes, that's for a healthier life. Okay, thank you. And Helen, are you ready to finish? <laughs> okay. Okay, go ahead. The use of contraceptive. Um, firstly, people should know about the topic in question. Science anticonceptive, our family, planning, methods for supply, oral, inject, condoms, and purchase. Mention the avant. Eh, ventaja, ¿cómo se dice? Advantage. 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 Yes. Eh, Overpopulation. Eh, regular and monthly cycle. Reduce. Acne. Eh, Decisement. Increase the probability of heavy um, diabetes. No sé si se dice diabetes. 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 They don't know protein uh, guys say will transmit infection. Less effective when they and medication. In conclusion, it should be of the use of contraceptive. Okay. So important. Thank you for that information. I think uh, nowadays we need more, and especially for schools or our the kids. Okay, it is necessary to know that in advance. Thank you, Helen. I'm going to be ya para terminando. Solo voy a presentar una imagen. Okay, I'm going to present you an image uh, with words. Tratan de recordar alguna de estas palabras. Okay. For paint. Okay, I think you have some of them. Yes. Okay. The easy ones, las más fáciles. Vamos a ver, Andrea, te veo animada. And then Kevin. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Andrea, I didn't hear. Wisp. Ah, okay. The Kevin, then Diego. Kevin, I can't hear you. No te puedo escuchar. Simple flip and jump. Okay, Diego and Claudia. Fetch, flip. Okay. Sequence. Mm -hmm. Nice. Claudia, then Carmen. Mix, sit, roll. Okay, thank you. Carmen, then Dori. All paint rest. Dorita then Christian. Play it. Okay, Christian then Claudita. Go fly, get a pain order. Okay, Claudita then Susie. Head, show. Claudita, eh, Susie then Helen. Throw a slide. A slide. Okay, slide. Helen then Diana. Drown, head, touch. Okay, uh, Diana and Carla. Yes, and white. Okay, Carla and Alex. Uh, show, show, okay. Okay, Alex. Open, rest, right. Okay, thank you. Ante, eh, nos quedan dos minutos antes de, de, de pasar lista. Necesito que por favor, y en especial, algunos que no estuvieron conmigo en el módulo anterior, necesito que pongan atención en esto. Es importante anticiparse a algunas preguntas que les voy a hacer. Si se dan cuenta que a veces yo les doy un par de segundos para ver una imagen eh, con palabras, eso nos ayuda a, pues, con la retentiva y a trabajar la memoria de corto plazo. Y eso también nos ayuda para escanear algunas palabras y saber de qué se va a tratar una conversación. Porque me he dado cuenta que algunos de ustedes a veces ha pasado, ¿verdad? Que me dicen, eh, lo siento, teacher, no vi, eh, lo puedo poner de nuevo. Entonces, la, el estar anticipado ayuda a que la clase sea más fluida. Otra cosa que nos ayuda a que sea más fluida es que preparen su respuesta, sé que todos lo hacen, y practiquenlo un poquito. Para que eso nos ayude, y eso va para todos en general, para toda la clase, ¿verdad? Y que la clase sea un poquito más fluida 
Y yo sé que a veces cuesta un poquito, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a intentar decirlo todo en inglés, ¿verdad? Y si no, me escriben en el chat o me dicen, teacher, ¿cómo se dice eso? O aquí en clase, teacher, ¿cómo se dice eso? ¿Verdad? Para hacerlo más fluido, ¿verdad? Eh, creo que estamos avanzando y ya estamos por terminar. Los felicito, gracias. Eh, esta actividad es larga, solo la vamos a tener una vez a la semana o a los 15 días, ¿ok? No se preocupen. De ahí vamos con actividades cortas porque hoy sí nos tardamos bastante en speaking, ¿verdad? Fue demasiado Most poder. Yes, it is better. I think it is better for you, ¿verdad? Okay. Pero vamos a tener actividades variadas, ¿verdad? De, de eso se trata, ¿verdad? De que aprendamos de diferentes maneras. De, de tenemos list y terminamos. Eh, Ana Mercedes, eh, no, Andreita. Teacher, Andrea. Yes. Las actividades largas no las dejen los viernes. Vaya, pues porque viene chiquito, es cierto. Le voy a dejar otro. No, oh, porque salimos tarde de trabajar. Los lunes. Vaya, ya vamos Pero a ver. Tuesday. No sabía. <ríe> No sabía lo que pasa, que ustedes se van al after. Se van a no. Ok. Eh, Andrea. Present. Uh, Carmen. I'm here. Thank you. Claudia. Present. Claudita, pecadora. It's me. Ajá, uh -huh. Christian. Present. Alex. Thank you. Present. Diego. Diego, yes. Present. Diana. It's me. Claudita, thank you. Present. Eh, Helen. Present. Carla. Present. Eh, Kevin. Present. Y Susi. Ok, my friend. Disfruten el fin de semana, los que puedan, o el domingo. Vemos lunes. Bye bye. Hey, good night. Good night. Carla, te me quedas, Carla, Carla, Carla. Enjoy Carla. the weekend. Enjoy it. Drink, drink a lot of water. Water. <laughs> a lot of beer, too. <laughs> ok. See you, see you. Bye. Take care, my friends. Ok, Carla, ¿qué te gustaría que revisáramos? ¿Qué te gustaría que, que hiciéramos como un refuerzo? ¿Qué consideras que mmm, hay como dificultades que podemos mejorar? Igual la conversa, eh, la pronunciación. Uh -huh, la Siento pronuncia. que eso me cuesta bastante. Bueno, aunque yo sé que ya, ya mejoré bastante. Uh -huh. Sí, fíjate que, fíjate que en general siento que el grupo va mejorando acuérdate que hay unos aprenden más rápido, otros más lento, otros eh, memorizan, pero en general se sí sentí diferente ¿verdad? el módulo sí, bien diferente ¿verdad? Ajá. sí, yo siento que hoy sí o sea, ya puedo pronunciar mejor las palabras, pero me cuesta y ya te animas más te has dado cuenta que ya tienes menos miedo Sí. Ya tenemos, y eso es lo que cuesta el inglés. No es, es, quizás no es miedo, sino que es pena hablar uh -huh. frente a los demás. Sí, pero es necesario. Y como hoy todos lo hacen, si te das cuenta. Uh -huh. Y lo importante, o sea, uno siempre se va a equivocar, uno puede cometer errores, eso es lo más normal. La cuestión es aventarse. Bien, déjame ver. Um, acá. Tengo. Digamos, la conversación que puso ahora me costó un montón la pregunta. Vale, si quieres, vamos, vamos a ver esa, porque estaba buscando otra, pero tiene razón. Esa Hay es. Palabras raras, o sea, que me costó sí. pronunciar. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Vaya, vamos a subrayar eh, las palabras que vos consideras eh, un tanto difíciles, ¿ok? O sea, vos me decís. Esa, uh -huh. esa. 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 Eh, anything, anything. Anything. Ok, ¿qué otra? Mm. Esta internet, need inter, ten, tener, inter, inter o inter. Interns. Es así como, así como se escribe. Interns. Interns. Mm -hmm. Ajá, este es este eso. también. ¿Qué otra consideras? 
esta need es parecida, o sea, ¿cómo se dice need? Y la otra que es parecida, pero solo lleva una, una E. Esta need. Ajá. Um, ¿Cuál otra lleva Ay. solo una E? Yo vi una que se lleva solo una E. Ah, no. Hay otra que es meet. Por ejemplo. Meet. Sí. Meet. No es esa. Ajá. Meet. Need. ¿Verdad? Meet. Es que mm. se parece. Se parece la... ¿Cómo lleva dos E? ¿Cómo lleva dos E? Vaya, muy bien. Entonces, este, ¿cómo se llama? Vamos a hacer algo. Déjame ver. Eh, tenemos acá, ¿verdad? Play, ba, esta es package. 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 Sería así. Esta es. Need. Así se pronuncia. Need. La otra, esta es. Anything. Anything. This is right away. Okay. Right away. Go away. Okay. Right away. ¿Qué es esta? Y esta es interns. 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 Vamos a pronunciar esta. Package. Package. Near. Near. Anything. Anything. Right away. Right away. Interns. Interns. Uh -huh. Bien. Vamos a practicarlos ahora todos. Bien. Tú eres Marcia y yo soy Luke. Uh -huh. okay. Please send send things package. Uh -huh. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, actually, yes, please yes. need a No, memo, please write, please, please write, write a memo about, about, a, about mm -hmm. the new date for the general meeting. Meeting. Right away, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Ah, yes, sure. 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 Mm -hmm. sure. Here. 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 Como es here. 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 Here you go. Oh, and look. Please. Supervision. Supervise. The now. In, inter. Absolutely. Muy bien. Ahora cambiamos. Eh, yo soy Marcia y tú eres Luke. Please send this package. Yes. Mom, do you need anything else? else? Mm -hmm. Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right. Right. Okay. Give me one of those memo speaker, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Bien pronunciado. Si quieres anotar estas palabras, Carla, o la, alguna que consideres eh, super, super, por lo menos esta need es necesaria. Uh -huh. Need. Y esta de anything, estas dos son importantes. Anything. Uh -huh. Anything, esa es importante. Igual este, rise, ¿cómo es? Ajá, right away. Uh -huh. Sí, yo siento que la pronunciación es que me... Sí, porque yo sé que le entendés a ciertas cosas, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, si te das cuenta, 
mm, hay eh, la, ¿cómo se llama? La habilidad de listening ya va como mejorando. Uno, no es necesario que le entendas a todo, pero hay ciertas cositas, ¿verdad? Entonces uno se siente más familiarizado, ¿verdad? Entonces, de, o sea, te, lo que sí te recomiendo, Carla, es que utilices el traductor de Google. Y si querés, uh -huh. cualquiera, como ya tienes todo este, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, ¿Qué? Tienes todo este, este documento, este manual, puedes anotar esta, esta, o la copias, las sombreras, la copias, y la pones en traductor de Google, y ahí le das en, en, la, en, en el icono del, del sonido para escuchar cómo se pronuncia. Y ahí tú puedes estar pronunciando, ¿verdad? Por cualquier cosa, porque si te das cuenta, hay varias de estas, por ejemplo, meeting, esa meeting, esa la utilizamos bastante, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Need, la utilizamos anything, y así ya esas palabras se te hacen ya tuyas y solo te enfocas en las nuevas. Ok, okay Carita, se nos acabó el tiempo, mira, pero se fue volando esta cosa, así que ánimo, ¿verdad? Sigue así, ¿verdad? Así que, okay. con todo gracias. Te me cuidas. Goodbye. Adiós.